So very broadly speaking, gestures that work well in front of audiences and again when you're meeting people for the first time or when you're uh, talking to colleagues are gestures that are open. And by that we mean gestures that leave your torso able to connect, as strange as this may sound, to the other people uh, in the room. Anything you do that cuts that torso off cuts down on the trust. And all of you are probably smart enough not to stand up in front of an audience and do this, right? You know that's bad. But how many of you stand there like this? I see thousands of speakers doing this as parade rest. When they're not gesturing, their hands come back here. Why? That's a modified form of self-protection. Hey, I'm in front of all these people. One of them may attack at any moment, so I'm going to have my hands ready. That's what you're doing. And what the problem is you set up an unconscious barrier between you and the audience. The other thing you want to do with gestures is reach toward the audience, close the distance. Because when we move toward people, the closer we get to people, the more we're inclined to trust each other. And whenever we move back, we say, I don't trust you. Think about it. Again, you know this in your daily lives. Let's say you, you go home and you greet your spouse, and your spouse is like this. And you say, how are you, hon? And she says, I'm fine. Now you laugh because immediately you're decoding that body language. What if she goes, I'm fine. Magnifies the effect, doesn't it? And yet, time after time, I've watched CEOs do the following. Give a decent speech and then say, I'd be pleased to take any questions you might have. <laughs> 